Hey guys, how are you doing? Just want to show you a couple updates. Uh, some stuff you've seen this, <clears throat> some of this you've seen uh, in a live screen, live stream, whatever, live hangout with Jeff we did. Some new materials I got at the show, some cool micartas. This is gonna be pretty cool. That's some kind of stone and like ground up and epoxy. Looks good. This, I finally got this material. I'm not sure what it's. I'm, I don't think the cobaltium is the name. It's. Uh, Oh, M3 is the material type, I think. And Lava Black and Cobaltium is the model, like the, the color. That's gonna be pretty sweet. I don't think I will actually use it as a set on a scale. I think I'm gonna try some bolster stuff with it. Also got a piece of uh, Moon Glow. Some new supplies. Find Found these. These are much, much cheaper than those screws that I've been using for the takedown sheets. These are aluminum. They should be plenty strong. Only thing is that they are, you know, clean aluminum, so we'll see how it's gonna look when I'll make the shades out of it. But that, uh, some uh, red and black actually, for a very good customer, that's gonna get the EDC with red and black G10. Gonna do some uh, some Kirdashis soon, that matching Bigfoot for Ole, that's gonna get done. Uh, this tough times told me into doing something for uh, his very good customer. So that's gonna get done. And uh, I actually was really tired today, but I wanted to do, wanted to utilize some cool new tricks that I've learned and picked up from some big, big names, you know, like RJ Martin, Jeff. I, I learned something from Jeff. I learned something from, uh, I talked a lot, lot to Der Ralph. So did the large flipper and uh, <laughs> man, it worked. I, I was able to, you know, utilize the new knowledge and it just, it's perfect. It really is. This one actually will go to Justin. Justin Laffer, touch my knife. We'll see if he likes it, he will buy it. If not, he will send it back. But I am actually in this one, I'm confident that he will like it. It just, it flips like a dream. It's ridiculous. And the funny enough, now, smooth and nice now the lug is nice and strong you know the spring is nice and strong so it's not one of those that will go super easy because the lock how how strong it engages it's kind of important for me now i want it to be solid just a little preview justin turn around if you're watching <laughs> and it doesn't stick so it's perfect i'm super super happy and the best thing is, so as smooth as it is and everything, there is, it's, it's impossible. I tried as hard as I could. It cannot be wrist flicked open. So it, technically it's New York City legal, which is pretty badass. I haven't seen a knife that I wouldn't be able to wrist flick in a long, long time. So that made me pretty happy when I, when I, you know, finished it and did all the testing and everything. It's pretty much... Is it sensor? Yeah, it should be. I think it looks like a little bit off microscopically. But I think I can actually get it get it just tighten the screw a little bit. Because I think it was uh, centered. But just perfect action. What makes me really happy is that it has a really solid lockup like my previous work. But it actually it has a radius that follows afterwards. So it cannot over travel, you know, that way. You know, wear in so quick, like my previous ones, even though they work and everything, they wear in quick and uh, it kind of throws off some people. And that also causes that it's not sticky, it doesn't, it's, it shouldn't get sticky really. So, looks like if I will be able to repeat this over and over, which I'm working on another one and it looks like I was able to repeat it, it should be pretty good improvement, which makes me really happy. This one is just peel plight, orange peeled, it just very slight hint of a kind of like a rock pattern or natural pattern but I just want it to be nice and simple no deep grooves just nicely contoured like chamfered on the insides this one is flat grind stone washed and just simple pocket clip very comfortable you don't even know that pocket clip is there but it's very functional so hopefully Justin will like it and uh, let me know what you guys think. The other one is very similar, but I think I bronzed the scales a little bit. I'm still 
I'm still stone washing. As soon as I'm done with the video, I have to still stone wash. I'll leave it there for a couple hours. Couple hours. The blade, that one has a pretty much full high convex grind. I like this. They weigh next to nothing, and they're pretty big knives. Not my taste, like not my size. I prefer smaller, but they just work really well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.